concerns from Fisher's residents about a deadly weekend shooting that they say took place at an Airbnb rental house. WRTV's Adam Shumes heard directly from Airbnb about this incident, and he also spoke to neighbors, including one man who says a stray bullet from that shooting ended up in a room where his son was sleeping. Bullet hole through Julian Robinson's window is a vivid reminder of what happened over the weekend. Not in a million years. Uh, kind of scary because it was my son's room. Thank God he was laying down and he was asleep. Robinson's home is near 141st Street and Cumberland Road, directly across the street from where police say 24-year-old Cameron Dokes was shot and killed over the weekend. We didn't move here for this. Well, you know, uh, Fisher's supposed to be one of the safest neighborhoods in America, and for this to happen, it was a stunning, shocking. Blood stains mark the street where neighbors say Doke's body laid after he was shot. There's a blood stain right, right behind my car, and every time I come home, I drive around it. While police say the motive for the deadly shooting remains under investigation, detectives say it was an isolated incident. Neighbors say a party at a rental property was taking place at the time. I reached out to Airbnb about this. They tell me that as of Tuesday afternoon, it has suspended the listing where the shooting happened and are working with Fisher's PD. You don't know who's living next to you ever. You don't know what's going on in the house next to you. And I just think that the best thing you can do is try to get to know your people. Rental properties turning into violent crime is something Central Indiana is no stranger to. WRTV has told you about how IMPD is working to crack down on parties at such establishments. Neighbors hope Hamilton County is it next. We just got to be mindful that it can happen anywhere and to anybody. In Fishers, Adam Shumes, WRTV. Police say they detained several people after the shooting, but no arrests have been announced yet. According to Airbnb's website, the company doesn't allow disruptive gatherings. There is also a ban on open invite parties, meaning any gathering advertised on social media. And if you own a home that's on Airbnb, you cannot advertise listings as party or event friendly.